Okay, so this is objective three, day two, and it's the third video in the chemistry primer, and it's problem six through seven. And there are these two problems, both of them are dealing with lines. And you should have gotten A for number six and C for number seven. So on number six, we're looking for the linear equation that represents the line passing through these two points. And I think the easiest way to do this is to do substitution. So we see that this point, this R point, is at 5, 3, and this S is at negative 2, negative, or sorry, negative 3, negative 9. Okay? And uh, just kind of a hint, if you wanted to narrow down your answer choices in a problem like this, you see that, that this line is going to pass through somewhere about here, right? Which means that this y-intercept and this y-intercept are definitely wrong because that's way up here somewhere. So we know automatically B and D are out. So we're down to A and C. Let's try A first. And I'm going to start with point R. So we would plug a 3 in for Y and a 5 in for X. So 1.5 times 5 is 7.5. And 7.5 subtract 4.5 gives you 3. So you can see that that works out. Let's try now the second point. You always want to do both points just to make sure that it works. So now I'm going to plug in 9 for my y and negative 3 for my x. And you would see that you actually get 9 equals 9 when you simplify this side. And so A ends up working. We're going to look at what happens with C just so you see what it looks like when it's wrong. that this is taking a while to erase. Okay, so for C, uh, I'm going to start with point R again. And so I plug in a 3 for my Y. So 0 0.5 times 5 for my X minus 4.5. So 5 times 0 0.5 is 2.5. And if you have 2.5 units and you put 4.5 negative units there, you end up with negative 2, and so negative 2 is obviously not equal to 3, which is what we should have gotten, and so that means that C is wrong. Okay, and then the other last problem is says which line appears to have a slope of 0, and the answer is W, this line right here. Okay, so um, what you want to remember is, oops, if you just remember this image right here, Whenever it's going uphill, it's a positive slope. I don't know why it erases what I write there. Okay, whenever it's flat, it's a zero slope. If it goes downhill, it's a negative slope. And whenever it goes straight down, straight up and down, it's called undefined. So this is definitely something that you want to have memorized for tax because they love to throw these types of problems out there. And it's a really easy problem if you just know this diagram and you know that it's positive when it's going up, zero when it's flat, negative when it's down, and undefined if it's straight up and down.